Hey, so you know those loot crates you see when you get back from a freelancer mission? Did you know that the items in the left side of the crate go to the left box, the middle to the middle box, and the right to the right box? So if my left box is full, then I can keep using the duck in every single mission because I know at the end of it, the same duck is going to keep coming back in my supply crate. Now let's get to the video. Hey everybody, Ranger Chris here and hope you're having a good day. Today I'm going to be taking a look at my top 10 gear in Hitman Freelancer. Price is the least important criteria because, you know, eventually you will get there. But the only reason it factors in is because something which is super expensive is going to take longer to get. Capacity cost, or as I call it, weight, is a very important factor because if something is heavier, it's going to be harder for you to take into a mission if your gear limit is not quite there yet. And finally, value, the most important factor. It's a bit subjective, depends on your playstyle but I try to be quite general with it. So for example, an ICA flash phone is going to be less valuable than a syringe, you know. And I rank them from number 10, meaning if I don't bring this, it's not a big deal. Number one, if I only have one item, I want to take number one with me. So here we go. Okay, it's not a joke, but at number 10, we have the fish. Now you can get it very easily at your safe house. And I know I've previously talked about how you can turn it into sedative poison, sedative syringes, but it is a very effective melee weapon, a ranged weapon to create distractions. And it has an amazing amazing capacity cost of one meaning it'll contribute very little to your weight limit it's not always easy to find stuff lying around if you have a bad spawn in a place like colorado you're going to need something to get going fast and i think the fish is a very very solid tool for what it's worth Okay, coming in number 9 is the Kalma 2 Tranquilizer. Carrying two darts, this item is amazing for ranged silent takedowns. As long as no one sees you fire the darts, even if someone finds the body, they'll treat it as an accident like the person fainted. So this is great for stealth-minded players. Also, the darts count as sedative poison and as poisoning guards or targets. The reason I rank it a little bit lower is because it is heavy at a cost of 3 and also because I think it's more of a luxury item where, you know, having it will make your life easier, but it's not absolutely essential. Number 8. Silence Concealable Submachine Gun. Whether it's the DAC X2 Covert Special, the DAC X2 Covert, or my personal favorite, the DAC DTI, these weapons do weigh 2 to 3, but they really make up for that in their versatility. If things are going downhill, you can use them as a very, very strong assault weapon and get out of a firefight. And if things are going well, you use them just like any other silenced firearm to take out cameras and so on, with just a small accuracy penalty. Bonus points because the DTI can be easily replaced in Dubai. Number 7 is hands down the best lethal melee weapon in the game, the antique curve knife. Number 1 is legendary. Number 2, carrying capacity of 1. Number 3, if you lose it, it's easily replaced in New York. Very, very easy to find and replace. It gives you progress for freelancer challenges which should require kills with legendary weapons. And last of all, it's strangely beautiful. The one downside is you can't get it through a security checkpoint like the concealable knife, but that's a small price to pay for everything else you gain. At number 6, we have the banana and what's left to say? Every time you see a courier, you should bring a banana. It's a free down, doesn't count as a crime. You can benefit a lot from learning how to use the banana. The carrying cost of 2 is a little bit on the heavy side, but there is a lot of value in getting downs without being compromised. At number 5, we have remote explosives. Whether it's the micro remote explosive or any of the explosive ducts, which can be remotely detonated or my personal favorite the ICA explosive phone these are fantastic tools which only cost between one to two gear costs and let you perform extremely effective assassinations from a distance and get out of there without being compromised bonus points to both concussive ducks this only cost one are very silent allow you to blow up and safe in seconds and are non-lethal hey you can always shoot them after Okay, I know some of you are going to be surprised to see the Seeker 1 at number 4, but don't worry. I consider this the single best tool in Freelancer. Being able to remove your target from a crowd or a dangerous spot into an isolated area where you can dispatch them quietly is invaluable. The downside is the carrying cost of 3 is a little bit on the heavy side and it only has 2 darts. So while this can really get you out of some difficult spots, you find yourself not using it 100% of the time. And while I always bring it, there are three other things which I bring more often and I rely on more than the Seeker 1. At number 3, we have a Hitman classic, the lockpick. And throughout your missions, you're going to run into a ton of lock doors, lock cabinets, and at a carrying capacity of 1, the lockpick is a no-brainer for value. This is one of the type of tools I meant that I would rely on more often than a Seeker 1. 
Now a lockpick is pretty expensive so until you can afford one, this is my other number 3, the crowbar. The crowbar not only can break locks, it can also be a great melee and range weapon. At a cost of 3, it is too heavy to stay in your rotation forever but until you upgrade to the lockpick, this is a fantastic tool. At number 2, we have the silent sniper rifle and on top of the pile is the hacker leviathan. This is the best weapon in the game. I mean the stats are out of the world. Subsonic so it's almost totally silent, piercing, can go through doors, multiple bodies and it has a ridiculous carrying capacity of 2. This thing will kill anything and a massive bonus to all sniper rifles is they come with a briefcase which as you know I think is fantastic value in and of itself. The only downside to the Hacker Leviathan is it's extremely expensive so it'll be a while before you can afford one so you need a good alternative. Now the Seeger 300 goes to other legendaries are solid uh, choices but if you're like me and are scared to lose valuable legendaries then the Seeger 300 advance more than gets the job done. Great long range kills, extremely effective at close range combat. It also has Ave Maria plays when you're looking down the side and it's not too expensive so if you die and lose it you can easily replace it. Not much else to say about silent sniper rifles. They are the best killing machines in the game. They come with a bonus briefcase and they are ranking above lockpicks because guess what? Sniper rifles are powerful enough to shoot open doors. Now the big surprise for number one pick for the most valuable item in Hitman Freelancer, Silence Pistol. Now the most powerful ones are the legendaries. They only have a carrying capacity of one and they include the short baller, the silver baller and the gold baller. These are wonderful pistols. They are all suppressed and um, very light and you can slow down time before taking the shot. So many uses including shooting out cameras, causing distractions, assassinations, shooting out surveillance systems, you know, nothing beats a silence pistol for value in my personal opinion. If you wanted to go super stealthy then the Krugermeyer is a great choice with its subsonic trade. Hardly anybody will hear you take those shots and it is great for missions where you need to get in and out without leaving any trace. This Hackle Covert you can easily acquire from the Isle of Scale. It is a decent uh, weapon. It does take a little bit of legwork to get. However, my go-to weapon is the Assassin's Hawk 21 Covert. You can easily, easily get this from any Assassin in a showdown. It's extremely effective, only has a carrying capacity of two, and I almost never leave home without one. So Silence Pistol, the most valuable tool in my personal opinion. I noticed that one common thread is that I tended to use items which I thought were effective, efficient, and most importantly, that I could easily replace. So I could easily go back to scale or go to the next showdown to get my pistol, my submachine gun in Dubai, and so on and so forth. What did you think of the list? I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you think the best gear are and hope to see them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Do check our channel out for other cool guides and tips. Please remember to like and subscribe. Take care and I'll see you next time.